Okay, third time's a charm. We're doing the third test kit of uh, the full range so far of the uh, Aquaforest test pro kits. Uh, the third and final test we'll be doing today is calcium. Wow, opening this box, you get a fair bit of stuff with it. Again, written instructions, I don't use them. Advertised material, sadly, I've been uh, drooling at these purple boxes for too long, so I know most of them. Although, interestingly, there's a couple things on there that aren't quite here yet in Australia, so maybe a good preview to have a look at there. Uh, ICP verification. This one's pretty much on the knocker. The test kit uh, with the reference solution came in at 420 to 430. ICP tested 425, so uh, honestly, I don't think you're going to get much more accurate than that. Um, I probably should test the reference solution at some stage and, and verify that, but that's um, it's impressive. Um, said uh, reference solution, uh, this one's the same as the magnesium reference solution and that does calcium, magnesium and salinity. Um, I'm looking forward to using that because I've got a um, digital uh, refractima, mainly because I'm a lazy bastard, I just like to look at numbers, um, and yeah, sometimes I question its accuracy, so this will be good to prove that right or wrong. Um, waterproof instructions, both with pretty pictures for us simple people like me, and uh, your results on the back. Um, reagent A is a powder, you just got one of those. Reagent B, you get three of. Um, so again, you can keep them fresh. They're obviously one that um, suffers from some sort of variance when exposed to the air, so this keeps them fresh. Big bottle of C. Um, I think this does say somewhere how many tests you meant to get out of it. 55 to 65 tests, wow. <laughs> Maybe I need to test more often than the alkalinity one, but 78 to 100 tests. That's gonna last me too long at the rate I do testing, so um, maybe that'll give me some motivation to do some more. All right, I'll be using the speed stir again. Um, oh, actually. All right, I got my little uh, stirrer bar for the speed stir. Forgot that bit before. All right, step one, two mil of aquarium water. In she goes, uh, put the speed stir on, grab. Oh, one scoop of A. I was wondering why it's telling me to do reagent B first, but it's not. Plenty of that. That's why reagent A goes before reagent B. One scoop of that. Ooh, that quietened up down a bit. Don't need to adjust the speed, do you, Rob? All right. Uh, put that one aside. Now, it doesn't say to shake your agent B, but it will. 10 drops of this bad boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. The other thing I'll mention, which um, is going to be kind of hard to explain, but uh, I know some test kits, as soon as you tip them half upside down, the drips just start flying out of them. Um, this one you have to squeeze fairly hard, which is good. You're not going to get an accidental extra drip in there and have to start the test kit again, which gives me the shits when that happens. Um, it says to stir that for five seconds. It's dead. The stir bar's going mad in there, so it's kind of like a washing machine. All right, I'll draw out one mil of reagent C. We start adding them in, drip by drip. Um, it says that you should wait 10 seconds when you see it change from pink. I'm not sure if you can pick up on the color there, but it's currently pink. It's got to turn blue. Once it turns blue, we know it's uh, at a point where you need to measure. But it's got to stay blue for 10 seconds. Whoa, I just put like 30 drips in. It's got a nice fine point on this one, so we should get a pretty accurate test because the little drops are tiny. Now, uh, this is calcium. I tested this morning on a salifid, which surprisingly for me was not out of date, and it said 410. So um, we'll see what this is. I've been trying to bring my calcium up. Uh, I did actually adjust it this morning, so it could show higher than 410, but I'd be guessing around 410, 420 based on my previous test kit. It's still nice and pink in there. Not really seeing any signs of blue yet. Ah, I can hear my daughter on the baby monitor. Lucky this is my last test kit, because she needs to get up. All right, starting to turn blue. It's still pinky blue. Just give it a few seconds to see if it stays that color. Yeah, it needs a couple more drops, I think. All right, now it's gone blue. We'll see if it holds that. We'll give it 10 seconds. Looks like it's going to. Whereabouts is that? That's 0.21, I'll just give it one more because I reckon it might go a little bit darker blue. 
can do it a little bit. All right, I'll measure between the two because it probably added an extra drop there. So 0 0.2 left on the syringe. 0 0.2 on the syringe tells us that it's 400. Uh, pretty accurate to my um, in date silica test kit. Which one's more accurate, you guess? This one does come with ICP verification. Um, up to you whether you trust that more. I can't see any reason not to trust it. Um, they're both within range. I'd like to bump that up. I'd like to get my calcium around 440, but um, as mentioned in the alkalinity test, my tank's just hitting a little bit of a growth spurt at the moment, possibly because of the other alpha, other aquaforous things I'm adding, or even uh, sustainable reefs, uh, aminos, and vitamins, which uh, did seem to really give a good growth spurt. So if you're looking for something else to give your tank a bit of a kick, check out the other aquaforous stuffs or um, sustainable um, aminos and vitamins. I recommend aminos and vitamins. So did really seem to get a good boost out of the tank with those. So um, if you're looking for something different to try, give them a shot. There doesn't seem to be any drawbacks other than your glass. If you overdose your glass, might get a little bit more dirty, a little bit quicker. But um, in the chase of faster growth and more color, it seems it's more price to pay. Um, yeah, so that's the three test kits. If you have any questions, shout out. But um, yeah, they were pretty easy to use. And um, yeah, I like them. Good alternative to sell off it, which is, historically been a little bit hard to get hold of every now and then so um yeah enjoy guys cheers